Okay, I wanted to uh, kind of give an idea of what I do when I do the triple evacuation. And just a little bit on the triple evacuation. The triple evacuation is done to uh, be able to get a cleaner system. Because I figure if I evacuate and then I add, well, they usually do nitrogen, although I, I say do it with refrigerant. But if I add refrigerant in after my first evacuation and evacuate again and then do it one more time, well, three times, then I will get a more complete evacuation because I'm essentially flushing the system. Well, I have a special way of doing the triple evac. And I thought I'd share this thing and you see what you think. If you like it, great. If you don't, okay. Okay, I've got two line taps here. And of course, I've just got, you know, a condenser here, evaporator here, compressor, expansion device. Okay, when I pull my first evacuation, I'm going to take and try to go from a liquid line like this and a suction line here. These are opposite ends of the system. And so I'll get a better evacuation when I do that. Okay, so I take my first evacuation. I open up both gauges as far as they'll go and get the best evacuation I can. When I finish that, then I will add refrigerant here in the low side. Now I don't put nitrogen in, I don't think it's the right thing to do. I don't want to put a non-condensable gas in the, the system between evacuations because I think that's kind of counterproductive. But uh, this is the way I do it. Once I have that first vacuum done, then I break the vacuum with refrigerant through the low side. Now what will happen is the higher pressure gas is going to go through the compressor, it's going to go through the can of the compressor and through the valves and move this way. It's also going to go through the uh, suction line through the evaporator and to or through the expansion device. Okay, that is going to push ahead of the refrigerant I'm putting in there. It's going to push whatever non-condensables I have inside. Could be air, could be moisture, so on like that. It's going to push all these things over to around this high side line tap. Okay, so once I put my refrigerant in, and I'm gonna run this up to just about atmospheric pressure. Uh, might go a little bit lower, but we'll call it atmospheric pressure at this point. Then, when I begin my next evacuation, I'm gonna take it out of the high side. I'm not going to open the low side port. I'm going to just open the high side port because in this area around this tap is where all of the non-condensables have been pushed when I put the refrigerant into the low side. So I suck it out of here. I get it down to about uh, 20 inches of vacuum. Now you see I'm going here and I'm pulling a vacuum here when I show on my gauge on the low side as a 20 inch vacuum, then I'm assuming I pulled out most of my contaminants and then I'm gonna open the low side and finish the job. Fairly simple, uh, you know, the first evacuation, you just pull down as best you can with both sides. The second two evacuations, I push in the low side, pull out the high. This is a way I developed to do it. I don't know that any manufacturers tell you to do it that way, but this seems to me to be about the best way to do it. So that's the way I do it, and I'll have a practical on this thing and how to do the evacuation coming up in a couple of days. Hope this thing makes sense.